dual Chinese encounter is not going to happen. The number two seed, Li Shuhui, given a walkover by the number four seed, Jiang Yang Jiao. So Juliana Schenk, the only European player left in on semi-finals day. And I wonder how many people would have bet on her being still playing here on the Saturday semi-finals day. Because of course yesterday she was up against the number one seed in the women's single. She was up against Wang Shoshian. She beat the number one seed in three swimming games. An hour and one minute for her third victory over the former world number one. But yet more Chinese opposition today in the semi final for Chen Xiaojia. This her sixth match of the tournament because of course she started the week in the qualifying draw back of her way through that to be in the main draw and en route in the second round of the main draw the European champion the number five seed Tina Baum from Denmark 21-13 21-17 and then yesterday beat Bei Yungju in the quarterfinal and it was the Korean who put out Sinan Awol the home favourite so we know that the Chinese youngster has got all the capabilities, but here is the number six seed, the 29-year-old born in Krefeld in Germany. 18 and 8, her uh, in-loss record for the year, translates into two finals, the German Grand Prix, and also those European Championships that I was mentioning. Three quarterfinals as well, so very, very consistent over the year. Juliana Schenk. So to her opponents, the 19 year old Chen Xiao Jiao. Four and two. There we go. That comes of the fact that only two previous tournaments. Yes, get ready. Coach. Well, I know that there has been a Chinese coach here, but I'm looking down behind the court and I can't see him sitting Ladies there as yet. On my right, Julian Shank, Germany. On my left, Chen Jiao Jia, China. Chen Jiao Jia to serve. Level. So the only one of the women's singles semi-finals that's going to be contested. Number six seed, Juliana Schenk. Up against the qualifier, Chen Xiao Jia. Service over, one left. That's lovely disguise. Service over. One. Chin oh. Only two previous tournaments, as I was saying. Semi finalist last week in Qingdao at the Asian Championships. Two. One. But a week ago in China, she beat Sina and Awol, And she beat the number two seed, Wang Xin. Well, what a run of two tournament she's having. Service over. Two all.
pushed it wide. Service over. Three, two. A lovely drop shot. Twice silver medalist so in the European over. Championships in the Three. women's singles All discipline. Five medals in total in the European Championships. But never a gold. Reach the final. Of the Japan Open last year, Japan Super Series event, Juliana Shen. In fact, she's been in two Super Series finals. And she was also in the 2009 final of the Super Series finals. End of year event for the top eight in each discipline. Mocking oh, decision. It's a brilliant rally. Five, three. This is the first time that these two players have met each other. And that's not altogether surprising. Seeing as Chen Xiao Jia. Really hasn't played many tournaments on the international circuit at all tournaments in 2009 both of those happened in China three tournaments in 2010 and only six last year service over four five Super drop shot. Service over. Six, four. And she's a good athlete, is Juliana Schenk. Very good fitness levels. Used to be what was called a sports soldier. Used to officially be in the army. It was allowed all the time off that she wanted to for her sport. And almost landed well in. Yeah. There's not only a lengthways drift Seven, in this arena. Four. Also a sideways drift. And that one came back in. Service over. Five, seven. 
super. The number of times she appears off balance to me as if she's taking the shuttle Five. when it's gone past her and yet still has the racket head control to play a super drop shot. Those players, if you're taking the shuttle behind them, tend to be very wayward with their shots. And somehow she manages to contort her back. Great racket head control. Eight five. Push that wide. to see the Indian players who are no longer involved in the semi-final stages down here to watch, watch and learn and of course they'll all be supporting Kashyap Parupali in the next semi-final on court. Once again, when she appeared to be in trouble, and she has a six point advantage at the mid game interval. Jen yeah. up getting help and advice from her coach, Juliana Schenk, just left to contemplate on her own. Now I have to say, I'm bewildered by this because. I definitely saw the German coach here earlier in the week. I don't know whether he's sick or whether he's had to go home. Or whether indeed Juliana Schenk has one, decided she seconds. would Spot one, rather seconds. be on her own. Goodness, she was quick coming forward there. 12, 5. And the fact that she took it so early created an awful lot of the deception. Because when you see your opponent in quickly like that, you have to just stay on your base position. And you just watch, you can't adjust your positioning. Well, it was a run of five Six, straight points. 12. to 31 in the world ranking this week after the semi-final last week this lady up nine places So too is that. What oh, super rally. 
seven. Going for a very tight drop Eight. shot. Betting. Oh, well, for a next rally, goes for that same tight drop shot Betting. again, and this time makes it. Eight and makes it count. That is super. Good courage. Too often players, if they make a mistake on one shot, reluctant to try it again for a little while within the match. Service over. Great rally. Oh my goodness. Oh, the net cord. Well, one always sensed it would take something very special to end the rally. Service over. 15, 9. Retrieving the shot making of the very, very highest level. And it took that net cord. Oh my goodness, it did just creep over, didn't it? guilty of having played the net shot and retreating her ground expecting the lift getting a little frustrated that her opponent kept the shuttle coming back. Oh, I know it's easy for me to say, sitting up here watching, but all she needed to do was take the pace out of the shuttle. Her opponent was deep in her defensive Service stance. Service over, 16, 11. Again, a shuttle over. on the drop shot, so 17, accurate. 12. Just asking to tell down. Umpire allows it. 15 minutes of play so far. And remember, of course, she had an hour and one minute on court last night against the number one seed, Wang Shushian. No, 
Oh, that's nice. Deep into the forehand corner, Service played over. at pace. 13, 18. Very compact player. Is Chen Xiaoji up. And that is perfection. Yeah, so too is that. Service <laughs> over. 19. Now to outmaneuver your opponent. Service over. Called. Moving her feet. 14, 19. Oh, Julia says me. Yep, you. Service judge calling the fault, pointing to his feet, and that's the indication to the player of why the fault was called. Ah, that's good judgment. Looks like Service long. over. 20, 10 point, 14. Six game points to be precise. Service over. 15. 20. <laughs> 16. Oh, she 20. won't be afraid of these flat fast exchanges. Chinese players love that sort of rally. Game. Yep. But converted this time by Julian Shank. 21-16. 21-16 confirms the umpire. And that really was a very high quality opening game from both players. 18 minutes of play for game number one and it goes in favour of Juliana Schenk. Well, it's interesting that it's the youngster from China. 19 year old Chen Xiao Jiao. Back on court first. Juliana Schenk, the number six seed from Germany, taking all of her allotted time.
Juliana Schenk was backing off the nets once again. And therefore she would have been vulnerable to that second net shot. That was the right idea. been a very very positive start to this second day by Juliana Schenk and I can tell you that her opponent of tomorrow Li Shurue the number two seed is sitting just near us watching this semi-final of course Li Shurue the luxury of not having to play semi-final today she's got a rest day because her opponent her teammate number four seed Zhang Yang Jiao has conceded a walkover. A superb backhand. Oh, she's absolutely flowing at the moment. Is Juliana Schenk. of Cheng Xiao Xia after that rally concerning if you're a Chinese fan oh, very dispirited mm, look at the difference with Juliana Sheng prowling around the courts long as a back line and a six love lead six love here at the start of the second game Tactical awareness from the German. Yeah, he's looking concerned, isn't he? Again, would you believe it? No. Unbelievable backhand. Chen Xiao Jia. A little bit bewildered at the moment. Yeah. What can I do? Well, when you're playing against shots like that last one from Juliana Schenk. The answer is not a lot. It's actually eight love at the moment. There we go. So it's over. And finally the run of points is broken. Well, I wonder how much damage that has done.
Missed it. Oh, another golden opportunity missed. There was one in the opening game. And there's another. making her opponent twist and turn pushed her to the back brought her forward pushed her to the back again then the sharp angled shots at her down cross court This is so like men's singles in that the control at the front of the court, the tight spinning net shots are having such an effect. That net shot there, just about as tight as it possibly could be. And a seven point advantage to the number six seed, Juliana Schenk. Oh, Chinese coach looks to be saying something about playing deep into the backhand corner court one 20 seconds court one 20 seconds Certainly on a roll at the moment. Yeah, it has been very impressive considering her tough quarter final yesterday. Oh, there was the clear deep into the Schenk's backhand corner. Oh. Uh, Juliana Schenk. Dealing with it well. This is the one Coach was talking about. Ten-point advantage now. Yeah, she looks so determined. Be 
Well, as far as Chen Xiao Jiap is concerned, desperately, desperately needs a good run of points right now. And it's not to be, and it's not to be because of the quality of play from Juliana Schenk. Well, that's what she should have done earlier. When she hit those two, one in the first game, one in the second game, from the same position, hit long of the court. All she needed to do was play that little block. That's good work by Jin Xiao Jia. Service over, 6, 15. Fabulous. Whips it cross court. It's almost like a double shot, that. Determination. Umpire allowing her to have a towel down. Hasn't won a title since 2010. Oh. Juliana Schenk. Four finals in the interim period. Is she going to make the fifth? Oh, we'll play like that. There's every chance. Called again Service once again for a feat. Nine, no, I wouldn't mind seeing that again. Well, Juliana Schenk busy having a word with the service judge. Now the umpire having a word with the German. a good spot by the service judge lifted her right foot her back foot as she was serving oh. well, what was I saying about the 
quality of the net play earlier on. That's extraordinary. Cooled over the net. Just varying the pace. Variation of pace is very Ten. difficult for opponents to deal with. When it's all hit hard, you get into a rhythm, you get used to it. Yeah. Uh, Juliana Schenk, just two points away from her third final of the year. It's gone oh. long. Now just the Ten one point ten. required. Much Here is the number six seed, disposed of the number one seed yesterday. of the court explored in that rally and that's well saved first of the ten match points well saved by this youngster goodness how on earth did she get a couple of those back 12 20 but in the end Jim Xiao Jia just did wide of her opponents into the open space None of the next. Yes, the change of pace and Juliana Schenk through to the final 
of the Yonex Sunrise India Open for 2012. A third Not final of the two. year. A third Super Series tournament final. Not this year, but third Not in total. 21 16, 21 13. 42 minutes for the victory. And we will have European involvement tomorrow on finals day.